Hello traders and welcome to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for instructional and educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Let's take a look at the charts here and I want to first start off with US dollar yen and uh, last week did a video kind of highlighting this pair in particular saying that if it can break this support level there's going to be a real strong uh, high odds opportunity for shorting and sure enough as you can see we did in fact break that support and we had just multiple down days so hopefully you were able to capture this move I mean whether it be from just the breakdown and shorting that or if you were just shorting every rally into resistance breakdown on the intraday time frames there was just so much to be done here last week that you could have just just specifically played this one pair and and made a real nice amount of money and let me just show you here you know here's here's the four hour here's your break and then just again beautiful movement lower you had a nice breakdown here you had some nice follow through lower couple continuation patterns another sell set up there so all in all, I mean, this is just the four hour. And of course, as you drill down to um, smaller and smaller time frames, you'll see even more opportunity to where you could have uh, gotten on board, um, added to positions while continuing to manage uh, and reducing the size at other times to generate more of a, an income. But be that all as it may, hopefully you were able to capture this, this move down. At this point now, looks like we're getting a little bit of a rest here. You can see we're starting uh, this Monday morning off with, with a little bit of a bounce, which is to be expected. I mean, shoot, we had multiple days down, increasing in range. So a little bounce here is to be expected. But overall, again, uh, the longer term bias is is still lower. And you can go back and look at last week's video to see why that is. But uh, still definitely looking at this to move lower longer term. All right. So with that, let's take a look at uh, Euro US dollar here today. It's kind of going to be the one that we're going to highlight for uh, this video. And as you can see, really um, nice move up from this pullback. Actually, in uh, the video two weeks ago, we, we spoke about this setup here and the, the potential for it to move higher. So uh, again, of course, you could go back and look at that if you want. But in any case, strong move up. It's been going sideways all last week. At this point, if it can break above these highs, then then I'm going to look for this to move higher. Uh, really not look, I wouldn't look to do much if it breaks down because the trend is up right now. So I'm not going to look to short within within a long, longer time frames uptrend. So my primary focus my primary bias would be looking to get long here and again if it can break out you know then we'll look for it to move higher you could see that that this has been the top end of the range here for really quite some time this has been where where euro us dollar has struggled to get above but maybe things are changing here now we'll we'll have to see i mean it came up it held this range you got a nice little inside week last week and as i said if we can break over the top of this range we might be able to get some follow through higher um, on the other hand if it breaks under the range you know maybe it does start to fall back down but as i said i wouldn't be looking to do anything really uh, from a, a swing perspective if i was to look at getting short euro us dollar it'd be on an intraday trade only looking to take advantage of of the range but again bigger picture i'm thinking maybe, maybe if it can get over last week's high that this has a shot at uh, you know at least running up towards the 1.1705 level and and then we'll see where it goes from there but maybe we're getting close to a point where we break out of this sideways range and start a, a new decisive uptrend you know, that is something which is very possible uh, looking at the monthly chart you can see here it's just kind of been sitting here for what feels like uh, an eternity but at the same time I mean you got to realize and look at where it came from and here we had you know something like over eight consecutive down months so to be getting a little bit of a rest here really isn't that abnormal 
and it's just now coming into contact with one of our uh, more intermediate term moving averages, which is the 21 exponential. So this might be where it gets rejected and pushed back to the downside. So a lot of dynamics happening here when you look at multiple time frames and just got to take it one step at a time. But right now, if it can break out, well, then we want to start looking for buyers to continue stepping up and, and looking to play that on an intraday basis. If it fails, you know, we'll have to see how, how, how much it fails, you know, how hard it fails, how, how, sharp is the move down does it take out support is it going to hold support uh, things of that nature will become important questions to have answered should it as i said move lower but uh that's going to be the one to keep an eye on there are other things going on with other pairs but i just wanted to highlight this one you know we'll see where some of these other things go you got new zealand dollar us dollar trying to push up a little bit here Pound U.S. dollar more or less range bound, not much doing there. Uh, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar looking like it may continue to weaken a bit this week. Um, but uh, as I said, this this was the one I wanted to highlight for for uh, the pattern and and where we may be headed. But uh, with that said, guys, again, you know, Pristine offers a number of webinars each and every single week. So I certainly invite you and encourage you to join us. You can see some of the webinars we've got this week. And then, of course, go to www.pristine.com for the full schedule. And uh, we'd love to have you there and asking any and all questions you may, uh, you may have. So, again, hopefully we'll see you there. But uh, if not, maybe, maybe in another upcoming webinar. But either way... Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can receive future updates and videos that we do here at Pristine going forward. So uh, as always, stay confident, stay disciplined, and stay patient. And we'll talk to you again soon.